this year. Red, white and boom, Cape Coral's largest single day event. Rain or shine, this show will be going up. The show special events coordinator Todd King is preparing for less than 24 hours away from the 4th of July, a day you can also prepare for. What we suggest is people come pretty early, maybe have a lunch at one of the restaurants downtown. Get your parking spot early. If you can't, King suggests any of these lots. Big John's parking lot, Club Square, uh, also the Military Museum. Where you can also take a tram to Cape Coral Parkway, an area shut down. What you see in red here. Anything south of Del Prado, south of 47th Terrace, is all closed in this area. We do anticipate a large turnout as a result of some of the other cities not having a show. Such as Naples, because of Ian Recovery. King expects at least 40,000 people and 1,000 boats, a crowd that will see a change this year. We built this whole half circle food court. We're really excited about that. So we have lots of vendors on the north side of the road. And behind the scenes, a change King and his crew had to work around. We did have a lot of landscaping and a lot of uh, horticulture work to do just to get the park ready and prepared because Ian did plow it over pretty good. Well, the city of Cape Coral sets up Cape Coral Parkway and the state over here by the fireworks. Pyrotech Technico is setting these up. It's a 15 minute show, but they say it takes three days to put all this together. And a few reminders, fireworks are not allowed and you should not bring your pets. Red, white and boom starts at five, performances at 515 and fireworks at 930, though the time can fluctuate for weather. We have the best fireworks in Southwest Florida. Reporting in Cape Coral, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.